She is staying single because she attracts broke men. I date losers. Like, I date people who don't have money, and it's fine. You sure about that? And it's fine. Why life? Uh... We live in a matriarchy whereby, as a man, you need to be financially stable in order to date a broke woman. As a woman, as long as you have male contacts in your phone, you should never be broke. And if you can't ask any of the male contacts that text you, hey, good morning, what you doing? For money? Yes, it is time. Block, 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 block. Always carry a bill in your purse so you can head it over. It could be past due. Scratch out your name, get you a little marker, you know. Keep a little bill, extra bill in your purse at all times. This was dusty repellent. It's like a cross to a vampire. It's like holy water to the uh, to the possessed. God damn. That's fucked up. And if you're a broke dude, the matriarchy states. Broke boys don't deserve no. <laughs> That's a goddamn shame. In a time of women empowerment, independent women, and equality. That's sexist. Women and men are equal now. It's empowering for a woman to pay for her share of the date. You're goddamn right. It seems like some women cannot comprehend the bittersweet taste of equality served to them when it's time for them to pay for the bill and this is not about the fact that i couldn't take myself out for a ten dollar cocktail or a nice dinner because ladies you can make your own cash monies pay for your own ish be a boss babe at work and still have a man pay for you on a date because chivalry is just not right wrong chivalry is dead and women killed it and that's a fact and that's a fact for the longest time women have been fighting for equality we want equality where's our equality pay us more money well now this is what equality looks like miss independent women and men are equal now it's empowering for a woman to pay for her share of the date <laughs> you spending money on your boyfriend broke or not is just as important unless you're looking at it from a broke woman's perspective who is actually dating for survival how to get a dusty to go away give him a bill give him a bill Sprink, sprinkle Run! I'm tired of attracting gold diggers. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I'm done doing my business, I'm in the bathroom and I'm watching TikToks, right? Okay, fine, cool. I just came across a video where this woman is like, where's the end of my life? And she's just telling us about how she's always been the breadwinner in her relationship. And this man basically triggered her by saying that she has to pay for the third date or whatever the fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we off to a bad start. Let me make this make sense to myself. The lady that inspired this girl's rant claims to be a breadwinner in her relationship. Yet she got triggered that her man wanted her to pay for the third date. Now, I ain't no math genius, but I know how to count. If that man asked her to pay for the third date, then who paid for the first two dates? Four, right? It was okay when the man made more money to be the one to buy everything, to do, you know, treat you and all this other kind of stuff. And now that you make more money, you can't be that one. <laughs> you know what? Let's just continue. That's fine. That's fine. I don't have a problem with paying for dates. That's fine. I don't have a problem with paying for dates. Stop the cap. But then it triggered me because I'm like, shit. I've never had someone who I can relate to when it comes to this, but I date losers. Like, I date people who don't have money, and it's fine if you don't have money, but I'm always paying for dates. I'm always paying for petrol. Guys, keep at the petrol. Fuck. Uh, I'm confused. That's fine. I don't have a problem with paying for dates. Lady, if you do not have a problem paying for dates, what are you complaining about exactly? Nothing. Nothing. The only reason why this lady is triggered is because the lady that she is referring to said that she got triggered. And we all know some women actually enjoy a good pity party out here. That's the weaponization of the Me Too movement. I was paying for dates. Me too. And used me for my money. Me too. I've never had someone who I can relate to when it comes to this. Me too. Talk about jumping on a bandwagon just so you don't feel left out. Bro. <gasps> me too. FYI, this is how a lot of female friendships begin. Trauma bonding buddies. How pathetic. Oh! My fucking life. I can't even. I'm screaming internally. <laughs> and it's just like, how did I ever think that that was okay for me to pay petrol? I'm a strong independent woman that doesn't need no man, okay? I just want one. <laughs> like, guess, no. I once paid 300 then 250 for petrol. About to cry emoji. <laughs> Sensacional. For a broke dude, at least he's got a car. Unless I check a major component that is required for car to move is gas. If dude is picking her up and dropping her off, wouldn't the sensible thing or the polite thing to do is occasionally offer to pour some gas in a dude's car? Men deserve nothing. Oh my bad, I forgot the era of life that we live in. Everything is damn transactional. So it might just be a gas for ass situation. I think the best thing about being a woman is that pussy is globally accepted as a form of payment. Brick sprinkle. Huh.
What's interesting to me is that if she had to Uber around, she would have paid the same price for the Uber than the price she would have paid for gas, if not more. And that time public transport is pretty cheap. And also if they were in a relationship, why is she complaining? She is using the convenience of this man's car that he's making monthly payments on. That's if he didn't pay it off. He has to pay more money by maintaining and servicing the car. And all he asked was for her to pour some gas on two occasions that we know of. And she's tripping as if dude asked her to buy him some brand new tires for the car. What's funny about this particular situation is the lady with money and no car is pouring gas in her broke boyfriend's car from where i'm standing they seem like a perfect match where she lacks he fulfills and where he lacks she fulfills anyway now it took me back to why i'm single because i just seem to be attracting these losers and i think maybe it's something that's wrong with me because i need to they say that we're magnets you attract what you are i'm not broke though i don't get it i don't get it please someone teach me how to undo this thing because it's just not making sense and i don't like it i don't like it i'm a strong independent woman congratulations you played yourself it's true you are what you attract if she's constantly attracting losers that says more about her than it says about the guys after all she's the common denominator in all her relationships i just seem to be attracting these losers you are what you eat literally what you eat becomes you <laughs> message and if she's not as broke as she claims to be then why is she complaining about the two times that she spent 550. Even I'm screaming internally. That time the last first date I went on, I spent 500 on just the food, petrol sold separately. And I picked that girl up and dropped her off at her house. Even after the date went absolutely nowhere, I still didn't complain. Well, until now. Or maybe I'm just being too logical about this thing because the last time I checked, people with money do not complain about losing 500. Maybe 500K, I'm just saying. And advice to the gents, do not go on expensive dates with girls you are not exclusive with. It's not worth the waste of money. Don't do KFC, McD's, coffee dates, walks, parks. Think about those. What's the dumbest thing you spend your money on? Women. Expand on that for me. If a girl like you, she gonna f you for free. But anyway, and as always, the sisterhood never sleeps. Hence, some lady came through with some advice for this young lady. My first observation is that you are making this video basically expressing how tired you are of, you know, dating bro guys and paying for dates and it is driving you crazy because you keep attracting the same type of men don't save her she don't want to be safe you are telling us this but in the same breath you are saying it's okay if you don't have money it's okay if i'm paying for petrol i don't mind paying for dates but that is a complete lie stop invalidating your own feelings because that is an internal battle that you are obviously having with yourself where you feel like you are completely uncomfortable with doing something but because there's a part of you that feels like oh no i don't want to be a bad person so let me say it's okay like i'm not going to judge you for not having money but i also don't like paying for dates you need to stop invalidating yourself you need to own it i don't like paying for dates i don't like dating broke guys i don't want that for myself own it oh okay the next thing you might need to do and i know a lot of people have been talking about this on the internet but it's not gibberish guys it is actually a real thing you might need to step into your feminine energy and by this it means that you need to unlearn the hyper independence okay it does not make you a bad person to say no it does not make you a bad person to not understand someone else's situation you have worked hard for yourself i assume you have your own things you're trying to figure out your own life therefore you know deep down inside that you require people who will give you the same type of energy do not deny that be the girl that says no i can't no i don't have no what do you think we should do be the girl that is willing to sit there and wait for someone else to give them the same treatment you are not a bad person you don't have to be a good girl also you don't have to be a good girl proper bullshit advice to a guy who's pursuing you it will not give you brownie points to go over and above your own expectations especially where it is not reciprocated do not allow that to happen for yourself especially if you know that it does not sit well with your spirit she don't want to be saved don't save her she don't want to be saved don't save her she don't want to be saved oh no it does not make you a bad person to say no it does not make you a bad person to not understand someone else's situation the same energy they give to you you give to them god damn right you know women that are going to be complaining about paying for a bill or two shouldn't inspire you to build a future with them because they make everything about themselves they selfish they self-centered and a liability that will never have your back imagine having kids with a woman like that don't do it god forbid that you pass on and you can no longer provide for your family how will she take care of your kids let alone herself because she was too codependent on you and not herself
Yet she's an independent woman. Bruh. And that's some food for thought. Think about it. Times are hard. Everything is just damn expensive. So a little help goes a long way. When men were the sole breadwinners and the sole providers, we were not complaining as much as women are complaining right now. Now that women bring some money to the table, we just cannot seem to hear the end of it every time they spend a cent. You got money. Pay for it, Miss Independent. The point of working is to have financial freedom to take care of yours. So step up, ladies. This is exactly what you'll fought for. Equality. But anyway, what do I know? Let me know what you think about today's video. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Oh no. I date losers. Like I date people who don't have money, and it's fine. 